Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness to us and your love and your care. Father, we thank you for the special guest today. We thank you for helping hands and all the blessings that they continue to do for the Northeast and even beyond. I pray, O oh God, that you would hear our prayer as we do invoke your blessing upon this place. I pray you give Dr. Andrew Hoto your wisdom, your grace, and your kindness upon him. As he leads this front, I pray for Sir, also Lord, that you give him wisdom, Robin Hibo, that you give him the special grace that he needs to carry forward throughout India. Father, give them wisdom in their duties. And Father, kindly continue to protect them. Put your holy angels around them. And Father, may they truly be the hands and feet of Christ. Because Father, you remind us in the blessed gospel of Matthew. You tell us, Lord, when did we feed you? When did we help you? When did we serve you? And you remind us, Lord, that whenever we did unto the least of these, you did it unto me. So Father, I pray, O oh God, that truly helping hand would be a helping hand for the whole nation and for the world. In Jesus' name, amen. I would now like to request the chairman of Livingston Foundation, Dr. Andrew Ahoto, for the welcome address and a short briefing on helping hands. So please come and take your time. A very good afternoon to one and all. Delighted, happy to be here, and at last, we could say that we have made it, the helping hands in Nagaland. And we are very proud of all of you, those who are here, the guests, those who have come from near and far, and especially those, the prominent NGOs, the society workers, church leaders, and probably we have, all, we have called upon more than 250 organizations over here. I know that some of you could make it, some of you could not make it, but nevertheless, all of you, I could see the room is full. It's good. And I'm very happy that Robin Hebu, sir, a person to be reckoned, a person, the name synonymous to helping hands, I would say that. If you look at Robin Hebu, we always think of helping hands. It has become a synonymous name, both of it, and we are proud that he's here in person. Everybody follows him for the best reason, we know why. And we know that whatever he has done for the society, it is not only for the community that he has done, it is for, by and large for the entire Northeast and also for the rest of India. I'm happy today again to welcome all Reverend Joshua, who is also a citizen of US. He's an ex-army. Now he's married to local. He's got a school here, wonderful running. He's got wonderful kids and father, Maria Dajo, and a special guest, Sushil, from Hyderabad, and next to father also. Yeah, and also not forgetting Madam, our Sir Robin Hibus, the pillar of success, I would say that. She has been the real strong one, because whenever Robin is out, she is the person to be holding the fort and doing whatever is necessary to bring up the family. I'm happy to all the fraternity of the media, both the print as well as the videos and medias, the socials and everything, social media. Happy to see all of you here. It's exciting to be around and to also announce that Sir Robin Hibu has come personally to actually grace the occasion and to launch the Helping Hands first of its kind in Nagaland the first, I will see that. Well, the journey for Helping Hand was not very long, neither very short. It all started in 2016 and wonderful members are there. So by, by and large, when the Helping Hand started with the grace of Sir Robin Hibu and the good team, and I also was inducted as one of the core members, I was very happy, you know, because something that really touches somebody, to help somebody. So when we had a meeting in 2017, we had a conclave, quite a big conclave that was in the Constitution Hall in Delhi. And there we had Mary Combe, 
we had Rijuji, and we had very tall leaders over there, and we had a very massive gathering, and that's how we had to get together and all that. And then on, we were discussing with Sir Robin Hubu and the rest. We said, why don't we also one day launch the Helping Hands in the entire eight states of the Northeast? Because we mentioned that, if at all one day, sir, you will also have to retire one day. And after you're gone, what's going to, go, what's going to happen to the Helping Hands? We may find dedicated officers, we may not find also. And you as a young officer, you have really thought of something like with Armstrong, who is in Manipur also. He has done wonderful. So likewise, we are just sharing that. After you're gone, retirement, you go back to your house and back to your native place. I think the helping hand will disappear. But we need to keep the legacy alive. So we are just sharing the idea. Why not we just sow the seed of helping hand across the entire Northeast and having an office. And that's how the journey started. And he never kept up saying no, but he said yes. He has been always a positive man. He said, surely, and first we're going to start with Nagaland, since you have said so, and I will be the first one to come here <laughs> and launch it. And here, a man who has kept his word, he has come here all the way. Because of the pandemic, which did not happen earlier, otherwise it would happen much earlier. But it's all in hands of God. I would like to say that Sir Hibu, he is a man who is an officer, but an officer who has not thought for himself alone, but he has thought for others more than himself. It says that a giver is not recognized much. I mean, a receiver, sorry, a receiver has, do not receive much glory, but a giver receives much glory. I would say that the helping hand, which he has formed and formulated, has made a really big impact. And because of this helping hand, the entire Northeast is actually getting a lot of help. And especially our Nagaland. A lot of problem in the city. You might have seen in the social medias and print media and all over. We come across so many problems. And some problem we cannot even disclose to society. It's quite embarrassing also. So likewise, he made a journey, sacrificed all his whatever, double working hours of, you know, how policing is. And that also in Delhi, the main hard city. And being a special commissioner, you know how much pressure he must be having. He goes back home only after 8.39 because helping him is 24 hours, there's a call. He gets called even at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So because there were a lot of problems for the Northeast, he made one point and said that this should be a special protection for the Northeast region. Thank, not being biased, but we were, you know, we were looked as an outsider sometime. So because of that, there were misinterpretation and judgment went wrong sometime. So because of his good helping and the team that he had in his mind, he said that we need to have a special protection army and for the Northeast, a police. So that's why the idea came for the Spooner. Spooner, it means Special Protection Unit for Northeast Region, S-P-U-N-E-R. So the Spooner was formed under his guidance, under his capable leadership. And when the Spooner came in, there was a debate why it should be there. Then the Nido Arunachal was killed mercilessly in Delhi. So there were many incidents that followed for the Northeast, killing, dying, raping, and so many things. So they thought that, I think Delhi, we need a high time, a special protection unit for the Northeast. That's how Spooner was born. After it got born, there was no money as usual. Sir ran from post to pillar. Lastly, Manika Gandhi, very grateful of her, gave the land free of cost and gave 24 crores to build that office. Tell you, it's very nice. I mean, who could do that? Immediately given a check and said, go ahead. We need to help the people of the Northeast. That's how the Spooner came in. By and by again, 
Sir also wanted to recruit the Nautis people for the army over there, special police. Right now, we have from Nautis 1,070 police people working in Delhi under the banner of the Nautis. It's such a great achievement. He has sacrificed. He was just mentioning, I don't even have a car. Huh? He was just mentioning, I, don't, I thought he has a car. I don't even have a car. I said, I don't need one because I get my car from the police. But personally, I don't even own a car. And I have a house in zero. That's an Arunachal. But I have given the house for the helping hand. And I have made a library free for the people to come and read. Because I want somebody to become some. And he will tell you a beautiful story about the library. How and about his life. So the library will come in connection with that probably. And that will be a very sad story. Very nice, you know. And I will leave that for him. So the wonderful thing that he has done for the society. I think we all, all of us here today. What are we here for? Are we born? To be selfish, are we born to give or are we here to take only? We need to question ourselves. I would like to give a small anecdote. There was once in the paper, one person was reading a newspaper and in the arbitrary column, he saw his name. He's alive, but in the arbitrary, he saw that he was dead. Okay, by mistake, something happened, right? And they thought that he died and he was the person Alfred, no, uh, Mr. Alfred, he was the one who actually invented dynamite, the bomb, right? But he invented for a good cause. I don't know, people may have used for the bad cause, right? Like how Hiroshima, Nagasaki, atom bomb was made for the good cause, but it was, they have used it for destruction. So, the dynamite was being used for destructive method and for the system that are best known for what people could do. So in the arbitrary column, it was mentioned that he's dead. Okay, So he was reading his own column. So he wanted to know what people are talking about him. Because he has died, according to the paper. So he says that dynamite man dies. Okay, number one. Another one, he says, merchant of death. Okay, it's mentioned. Huh? That means, oh my God, I'm a merchant of death. Huh? That means he's a merchant who is dealing with death. He felt himself very sad. He said, okay, people will know me after my death that I am a merchant of death, a person who kills because I invented a dynamite. I think I need to change myself. So what happened later? He thought over and he started working for peace. He started thoroughly working for peace like how Robin he was working for helping ants. And to a great surprise, he became a very renowned peace man, I would say that, and he was awarded a Nobel Prize in the peace. And he's none but Alfred Nobel, okay? He was given the Peace Nobel Prize in the world. So now, when we are to reflect ourselves in the future to come, as a person, ourselves, individual, what are we going to give to the society? What legacy are we going to leave behind? I think that is very important. We have become selfish. We have become greedy. Sometimes, I want to even question ourselves. You are walking to the church. You are carrying the ten ties with you. And suddenly, you see somebody in distress. A real distress. I'd like to question sometime to all of us. Do you feel that ten ties that you have kept in your pocket Will you give to the man who is in distress, a man or a woman, or will you go to the church and give it? That's up to you. Vice versa on the other side, do you feel that the church people also will give that extension of help to those in the needy? That is again a second to be pondered upon. Well, decision is all individual. Nobody can give authoritative kind of a direction. Likewise, even for us, where are we? What are we doing? What are we here for in this world? How long we are going to live? And what are we going to give? I think it's a big question that we need to question ourselves sometime. The time has come, I believe, for the people to become not selfish not biased, trying to be a giver more 
than a taker. I feel that those who have come here, you have come with a reason. I know that you have come for the purpose that you also like to be a part of the helping hand. And I wish that all of you, those who have come here, be a part of the helping hand. Because it needs two hands to clap. We cannot do everything alone. And helping hands is a sacrifice. It is not a name, fame, glorification. It's none of that. It is something that we are actually truly committed that we have to do for the society something. So I believe that those who are here today, let's commit to ourselves and being Sunday and being Christian and from different religious background. We all have one God. I hope the relation between you and God, the relation between you and humanity will go on for the betterment. I hope that we all pursue one another. I hope that we all connect one another. I hope we all try to be that person which can reform and transform our very land who we are. Let us start with us first. Why are we talking big? Why when our surroundings are not good? So I hope that from today, we all leave a trademark. We all leave a footprint behind that after we are gone, people talk something good about us. And I know that we can do it. Human being, we have got a good heart. It's sometimes the mind that deceives us because we have a, sometimes a conniving mind. I hope our mind and heart will sing together and work for the better glory of humanity. And I know that if we can, this group of people who are here, if we can unite for the better man, and let's help those people who are in distress. We are comfortable back home here, but what about those brothers and sisters, the sons and daughters? I know it's difficult. You know, sometimes not blaming anybody or pinpointing. So much distress call they, they get, we get whatever. Not even to bury the, the dead soul. There's no money. Nobody gives. Even to burn or cremate, even to bring the coffin back to the respective houses, there's no one to even contribute. Such is the thing, you know, because the family is poor. Now, where, are, where is our leader sometimes, I feel? Where have we gone? Can't you contribute at least a bit amount? 10,000 a year, 20,000 a year. That's good enough for your society. You are here to lead your society. We are here to bring everybody together. We cannot take it from... In fact, sometimes I feel that the poor people, they have much bigger heart of giving than the rich people. I think something... The installation of the helping hands in Nagaland. Sir, sorry to give you trouble, but I now request you to come up again and can you give the installation and cartel cert uh, cartel certificate to Dr. Andrew Ahoto, President of Helping Hands Nagaland, Nagaland Chapter, Chairman of Livingstone Foundation, and further give away appreciation certificates for those who have brought laurel to our state. Dr. Andrew Ahoto. That has officially been sealed. The partnership. Thank you very much, sir. No, sir. Sir, you are not going to go now. I'm going to keep you over here for some time. Okay. We would also like to appreciate those who have, who have brought laurels to our state by awarding them with a check, certificate, assorted nutrient diet boxes. Now, these diet boxes are for four years. They will get it every month for four years. And these are actually meant for those that are drawn, uh, downtrodden and cannot support themselves in sports. So they will also be given t-shirts, caps, etc, etc. And yeah, I said check, sir. Okay. I now call upon Miss Nancy Oynam, who has brought laurels for table tennis to Nagaland. Let's give her a big hand, please. Please bring the certificates. Some moment. Yeah, uh, uh, please bring the tokens of appreciation, certificates, etc. Uh, 
Uh, this is also from the helping hand. This is uh, by uh, uh, Mr. Robin Hibu. Please hurry up. And the next one after this, I would like to call upon Mr. Inakiwi V.I., who has got Laurel, brought laurels to our state in football. The check, please. Then the next, we have Mr. Inakiwi. Please take up your mask. We would like to take a handsome photograph with you. Now these packets that they are getting, they are meant for four years. Nutrient packets, as well as t-shirts and caps, etc. This is being encouraged so that they do better in future. Guishe. Chishi, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it, uh, uh, mispronouncing your name. Mr. Gushe Chishi, please come up. Let's not waste any time. Mr. Mankap Konyak, he has been brought laurels to our state in Taekwondo. <laughs> Mr. Mankab, are you here? Please come up. Mr. Banka, Konya, he, he has brought Royal uh, State in Taekwondo. Now I would like to invite Mr. Davis, who is physically challenged, but a marvelous craftsman, to kindly come up on the stage and receive a check and a certificate. I would further like to request Mr. Abel Achumi to kindly escort Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis is being supported and encouraged by Mr. Robin Hebel of Helping Hands. Thank you. 
doing one more medal, of course. This 25,000, I kept it in my handkerchief. I got this, I will start to our helping hand. And this is how the helping hand story goes. So this is the, just a basic story. Uh, what we do in helping hand? Because everybody is talking helping hand, do this, do that. That's precisely so that all of you are, you know, uh, you have come all the way today, sacrificing your Sunday. So I want to let you know what we do in our helping hand. So that when you go back, as Andrew has rightly pointed out, you know, you will be the ambassador, you will be the angels for our Nagas who are in cities and even in Nagaland. Here we go. Where is the gentleman? I have to put my policeman to catch all of you here. <laughs> okay, this is our symbol, uh, helping hand. I hope everybody can see. Yeah. Last one. Yeah. yeah, please go ahead. Who are we? We is here, our happy United non-profit charitable organization by serving notice officers, entrepreneurs, lawyer, artists, educationists, including now priests, monk, lama, ambassador. Next. This is a bit our founding members. Of course, I started. Next slide. We have IS Armstrong, Ambassador Gumte, IFS, all others, all of them, including Andrew Ahoto. Uh, we have uh, M.A. Khan from Bihar, from Assam, from Manipur. These are our founding members. Next. We have even from Nada. Apart from Andrew, we have Chuba Banner, we have a doctor. Chief Secretary's wife, we have artists, we have a singer. Next. These are the first photograph of a helping hand when we started it. In my office in Delhi when I was NGP. We got ATG 20, 28. You know, very surprising when we apply for NGO 20, ATG, there's income tax exemption. Generally, it takes months, sometimes years to get it. But after seeing our work, the income tax commissioner, he came down to my office for a cup of tea and handed over to me within 22 days. So it was something really, I think God was, we got it very really shortly. Next. This is what we do, our operational framework. Everybody says, I mean, uh, they go this was the we give scholarship, this, that. This is what we do. We have 21 core members, our engagement layers. We have volunteers all over the country. We have a volunteer now in USA, London, Hong Kong, Dubai, Singapore, China, Japan, even in Mongolia. And in the country, we have 1,076 volunteers from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, from Kutch to Arunachal Pradesh. All have been given the training through virtual meet, of course, and Delhi is the headquarter. And we have a there is volunteers. I mean, these volunteers are not paid volunteers. They are as and when we need, suppose you are a volunteer in Ran of Kach in Gujarat or in Ahmedabad. You are a volunteer. Tomorrow, one of our girls, something will happen. Apart from police and other things, our volunteer Russian, if she is in hospital, she arrange the blood, she call up her family, she call her colleagues or employees or employers, she take care of that. We make sure that she gets justice, she get good what is called, as you said, this, this happened all over the country. So we are ready 24 into 7, we have a WhatsApp group, we have an email, we have a Facebook. Our WhatsApp group is specific state-wise, like Gujarat, one group, Maharashtra, another group. Anything happened in uh, Maharashtra, I just, we float it, uh, we upload it the, into the WhatsApp group, and immediately whoever is nearby, they rush in, they take stock of the situation, and get back to me, then I either get back to the resident, to the uh, Baba, or to the community organizations, or to our employers. Then we do the formal, what is assistant with me. Then we have counselors. This is something very new, challenging, which we are having. Many times, many of the youth, before they commit suicide, they send me WhatsApp, sir, I have done no more hope for me. That is one is from one youth from Meghalaya who was in Agra. Did a skill training, went there, tried to do well in life, but couldn't make it. Discriminations, no pay rise, 
food was different, environment was com completely different. He tried to adjust with his life, but he couldn't do that. So in the middle of the one, one fifteen, he sent me a message. Next morning, when I saw it, when I saw the other one of the volunteer, one of our uh, distressed from, from the Angara, I sent message. I call up police pick up, but he said, I'm sorry, he had not got art man chapter yet. So we have so many such stories. So these counselors are either preach or counselor from AIDS or a very good, what is called a, 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 a doctor or even student leader who are very good, who have some training in counseling, not to take their own life. In their distress, I will give them a hope. That is not that bad in this world. You have to struggle. We have from the Buddhist, from the Muslim, from the Christian, from the Hindus. We have a panel of counsel, 24 uh, counsel. Suppose if somebody is under distressful, stressed situation, if she is from Naga, then I will engage that Naga who can speak Naga, preferably from Naga, from Naga, then, who will give a counseling. Like last week, I had one hostess who was virtually abandoned in one private clinic in South Delhi. I got a call from a police officer, one of your sisters is lying here after that abortion. I should say that and she's lacking a blood, she's in desperate, very, very critical condition. We said our man, save her, donate seven units of blood. Somehow I went to meet her. She said, Sir, I have abandoned my God, I have abandoned, I betrayed the fate of my parents. So we have so many such cases. Then I, apart from me giving a little bit of uh, encouragement, I engaged the Naga counselor in confidence so that she can heal all her agony and problem so that she get the revival of her hope to live, will to live again. Then we have legal team. We have core member, seven legal team, the Supreme Court, High Court, and the District Court. And even we are connected with the, all the dancers all over the country. Like just day before yesterday, we could release one Arunachal girl who had a relationship living together with one African boy from Nigeria. She allowed her bank account to be used by that, this uh, man, evil man who transacted all the, this ill-gotten drug money into her uh, bank account. So she was arrested nine months back and drug case people uh, very, very stringent, you can't get it. So somehow we got to release. We have legal team to assist in something. We don't intervene in all cases. Helping any there only for those at that time when there is no one. You know, people may say, Ami Amakan Nara, our association has said to us, said to us. No. We are standing for those notice boys and girls and the, the employees who are in the cities, far away from home. And most of the time, they are, you know, apart from their formal, uh, who are in student or business, they are well connected with your organization, either AO or Angami or whatever your organization. But those who are working in the private, unorganized sector, they have no one. Their job is throughout the night. All night, video may in a hospital or in the hotel. They then they have to sleep, so they have no time to socialize or, or meet with the in your formal way of your community. So they are left out. So we are there. Whoever has got no one from the mountain. Now, Dadaki has to request us. We have included them. We have included the uh, Gotha from Darjeeling also. We have included uh, even the Pahari of the this Uttarakhand and and uh, Himachal Pradesh also. Then we have our. We have our we local NGO. We are connected with them in a sense because we verify support even in Kerala. Well, so many NGOs are working. So people, our volunteers are there. They know who, which NGOs are working well for the people without any discrimination. We reach out to them and they have a better access, better infrastructure, better resources to help our people. So our volunteer hand is strengthened by this local NGO. So we have connected with 47 NGOs all over the country. Next. What do we do? Next. Any emergency assistance, when there is no one is there, we are there. Either accidents, suicide, 
Lavar is Koti, and the Bariyama criminals, we ate to the destitute. We have very sad stuff to tell you. Many of our girls are, they fall in love, so-called love, abandoned by, by the people from other part of the country and other part of the countries also. There are many children who have no one. We have tied up with Father Anfonsa uh, school in the Noida. We take care of them. We give them if there's no one. And then let me tell you, last month, I had four visitors, very, uh, you know, around 37 to 40 plus ladies. They all came to me. I thought they all are coming for some help. They all hesitated to tell me, is there a Now, Yes, come. They said, we want admission for our children. I said, no, why not you tell your husband? He should have done the job. They looked at each other. Then they said, then I told him, if you want my help, you have to tell the truth. What is the problem? He said, yes, sir, we are from the GB Road. I said, no, go. why did you, you are there? One started crying, yes, sir. We were rescued three years back with fanfare, police, NGO, this, that. We went back to the society, hoping that we will resettle. Skill training is that they have promised us a lot. But today, we, we were used for it during election, during that, everybody wants free service from us. Nobody cares when we go back. So we came back voluntarily to, to our madam. It is Yahanto Hamid Bansitam, you know, Atayam to Miltahe. Means such a heartbroken story. They can't get to the, to the community leader. They can't get to our to other forum. That's the condition of our, our, our and it is increasing more. That is what it worries me more. Then we have our aid to the abandoned ones. We have so many children whose father has left the country, who look like mini African, mini Indian, definitely with Allah Allah sir, and their father has been left out there. Why have been left out? Last year, one man called David from African country, one of our sister, beautiful sister, a nurse in one of the famous hospitals in Delhi. She, he came to me and said, sir, we want to use Solomon as our parents in front of our church. Please help us to book the church. I think and it's privileged because I do parents for our sisters in Delhi also. We were ready. This girl uh, was, our sister was advanced, in the advanced stage of her pregnancy. So within one week that uh, she had to be admitted in the hospital. Doctor diagnosed that she had, uh, she had uh, two babies inside her womb. This Lucifer lover or, or, or so-called husband or man, whatever you may call it, disappeared and log out from his Facebook, disconnected his phone, WhatsApp, nothing, shifted his house from Kirki extension in South Delhi. We admitted her, helping and do her, admitted in a hospital, in a Fortis hospital. Look out for her, for this joker, for this uh, evil man. We went even up to the embassy. He was student on student visa. We couldn't locate him out. This girl delivered a two baby. Small girl, two girl. When we told her that your husband is not able, we are not able to locate him, she fainted and again went to coma. This two little girl, was kept in incubation center for that child. Otherwise, they would, it was advanced, you know, uh, premature delivery. They needed around eight lakhs of rupees to save this two child. Who will pay the money? Mother is in the coma. Father has disappeared, and the relative they are not willing to accept uh, this uh, because they say they have not listened to us. So we will. We, they have almost disowned her. Community leader, nobody is coming forward. Child died after. 20 days. This two little angel, we had to bury him in a graveyard in sector 23 of the Dwarka. So these are the stories. So many I can go on and on. This is what we do. Our volunteers go there. I also, we have buried so far nine, 297 dead bodies in four years. I have done those such kind of dead bodies. Then, victim of different crimes, either racial discrimination or, or harassment or all kind of things. That also we assist with the police so that it is taken care of seriously. Then of course, Lawar is recently 
last week before he came. One, either, either it must be Naga or it must be Hedar. We, uh, we put another boy in there without his, all his chains were taken, money was taken, nothing except his body. No campus. We did a postmortem. So during postmortem, we found pork and rice. Then I knew he had Abnai Bari. We made it sure that we just we buried him in the Urari graveyard. I also went. Nothing gives me more peaceful than burying somebody who has no one. This morning, the first my engagement was I went to fulfill my promise of meeting my friend who is in the grave, Nima Jamil, who was a journalist, a very upcoming good writer, an entrepreneur, but he died in 2019. I had promised him to buy a badminton racket. This morning I fulfilled that promise. I placed, uh, just to fulfill my promise, I went to place a flower and bouquet. I feel very shy of relief. Next. We have a 57 hospital in Delhi who are giving us a medical concession, you know. Of course, not for everyone. It's only for those who are either student or struggler or are working in a lowly paid unopened private sector. And it's one of our recommendations. What we have done is that we, we read, uh, write it in my WhatsApp. We have a designated WhatsApp number sent to them and they give the concession during the payment of the fee. I think there is really uh, many of them. Even we got up to 50 percent concession for our uh, our people in the like in the three hospitals, especially in the dental as well as in the diagnostic uh, one. So this is one area we feel we do that. Then we have a, our annual cancer checkup. It's one of the gray area where everybody is dying. Most 40 percent of our death are uh, most of them are due to cancer patients. So at least in Delhi we say at least our people should not die of. Cancer. So we do that cancer screening test. Next. We care that all these people who are in distress. This is a picture of the girl from Manipur. She was fallen in love with one boy from Haryana. Lived together for seven years. After that, she was thrown out, kicked out. Parent had abandoned her. She is from Nepal. She was from Nepal. She walked in BPO. All night walking, she collapsed on the road. Delhi police PCR took the body, Miss uh, his girl, brought her into Sambhadan Hospital. We tried to save her, I also went. We spent at least almost a lakhs of rupees, but couldn't save her. She died. Anyway, we have given her a decent cremination in Punjabi Park, cremination. What made me very happy was that when we took her body. I, we have army brigadier and colonel. They are also with us. They are Hindus. So when we took the last body from the mortuary, her face was black, sad. You know, I can see. But when we, in the final stage of her cremation, there is the Hindu rite. You have to put a ganga water, and then you place it for the what is called cremation. At that time, when we offended uh, out of holy water, I was with there. I could see her face, solemn, serene, with smiling face. I could see our sister is now in peace in her soul of oh, 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 her last right what we are doing here. And next morning we put her article again, we put it in the Ganga Vayaro, Colonel who is in Delhi. Another boy from Darjeeling, anyway. Every day we do that. Next. This is one area we, we do that these days. We call it Akri Ahuti. So many dies in cities. Everybody is not privileged to go back home, either dead or alive. Many of our doctors, people who are working in the unorganized sector, they die, their bodies are lying in the mortuary for days together. We take care of them. We give them decent burial. In Delhi, Grega, Dwarka, Burari, in Goa, in Chandigarh, in, even in Rota, even in Bangalore. And if somebody is, parents in nearby who wanted to see their dead body back, I have one Naga girl, uh, their body was present in parent district. We sponsored their dead body after the embalming, coughing, this, that, and tie up with the, their community given. 
Peter, I had a Yama Poor or in a Ayajawa or in Itanagar. So that their last piece of dream to be buried in their back home be fulfilled. This is one. Ah, this is the girl from uh, Peren, Nagaland. She was working in a, a one uh, hotel in Chennai. She had a cerebral malaria. malaria. So she knew she would not live for a long time. She was a believer. So the nurse was also a believer. So she was very close to that nurse and she confided to that nurse, his sister, my his sister, I want to be buried back to my parent where she was born in Harmony. She was an orphan. Anyone that reached to us, we married Poshikura, thankful to the Naga Women Commission also. We mobilized everybody, all our volunteers from Chennai to, to Calcutta, from our volunteer Calcutta, uprooted into the into the, the Dimapur, Dimapur, received by the Naga Women Commission member. We arranged a vehicle and sent up to the parent and her beautiful grave is one of our, I would say, a sovereign of our love. What are we to do for our sisters who have been virtually abandoned by our society in that Jurassic cities where it is a heartless city, where even if you cry, they look most of the time you they look you for exploitation, they look you for uh, some benefit. Unfortunately. This is the advocate was struggling advocate in this other court. Just newly graduated from law, thought of making big in judiciary, but died of heart attack. In the corner is her love, her lover, his lover in, in Pal. Though they couldn't marry, but at least we could fulfill sending her their body back home. Next. These are some of our solid pictures. If he's a Christian, we ensure that that father or the pastor give the last prayer. If it is a Hindu, we make sure that it is given by uh, the Panditji and all other. We make sure that their photographs are kept, videos are kept. We send back, if not their parent, many a time, it is not possible to contact with the parent, because most of them are in the village. They can't speak Hindi, nor they can speak English. So what we do, we keep it as a record, and we give it to the community member, so that they keep it as a, uh, as a prayer in, in their community meet. Next, this is one of the scenes. We have two daily uh, Punjabi Bar Crimination and Green Park. They give free crimination for our notice team. We write, I, I don't write, I just WhatsApp. So, anyone, anybody from Hindu, Christian, and uh, Hindu or from the Muslim, if anyone uh, who needs to be criminated, they give free, of course. This Sadarji was one of our founding members, Kuli Channa from the very beginning, but God has taken him so early during the COVID time, he is no more. We have honored him with our North East American gold medal. This is one of the very pathetic scene of our, you know, uh, it's so terrible to see it. We when we criminate our uh, man away from the family, but that's the reality of life. Next. After out, as I said, this is what we do. We send a dead body back, and under out is the representative of the Nagaland. We don't ask money from anyone. What we do is that, since all of you are here, I appeal to you also. If you are celebrating your Xmas, Good Friday, your birthday, or your marriage anniversary, or your birthday of your son or daughters, we request them, Uska, 10 to 15 person, you can detach that and save that money and put it into his Akri Auti means last service for a person. So this money, I spend 40,000 from my pay every month. I shouldn't say it, but I have to say the whole of it, by an example. And I'm, I'm very happy to tell you that the, in the initial stage, the Indigo and Vistara had given me a free coffee carriage for Nordish people. But now, but now, because of economic slashing down, they are not able to sponsor it. So we are we have to manage our. So that's what we have started the Akri Auti, uh, what is called strategy to mobilize the fund. And I am uh, 
floating this idea. Next time, either I bring Saifali Khan or Adya Bhatt, who will have a consorted Himapur. This is my dream. So we can raise fund for our, in this kind of a work for our people. Next. We not only weep the, away, uh, weep the tears of our people who are in need, we believe in giving them hope, encouragement, empowerment. And I know every month the donkeys cannot be made a horse. So we give uh, this watching scholarship as Andrew is a 2.5 CR by ALS every year. We conduct a all in the uh, entrance exams in the all seven sisters. And from this year onward, the helping and Dimapur will be set upon rolling. We give this scholarship for only one three criteria. 10, 12, graduates of Marxi, and income of the parents. Whoever come in the list, we give them 100 percent. Some portion, 75 percent consistent, some portion. So at least now we have 497 civil servant, both from central as well from state civil service, by availing this scholarship. So I request all of you, since you represent a very large chunk of your section of society, that whenever the helping hand under Andrew Ahoto and Ma'am, uh, we announce in Nagaland, spread it to all your people. Let them also sit down for the end of the examination. You know, getting 1.5 Lacks of rupees free, of course, just to their sponsor for your what is called civil service coaching. Nothing like that. We had no privilege. So that's what we thought we must uh, encourage our boys. Next. We have orphan scholarship also. The NRI from uh, USA, they are very kind enough, Mr. Budi Raja family. Those we are, uh, you know, uh, our selection is very, very uh, clear. Those who are from the poorest section, like one this time from uh, Manipur, outside that Reims hospital, one small little baby was thrown in that dustbin. Our volunteer took it over and we are nurturing and giving her scholarship, advanced scholarship so that she grows up. Another one in Arunachal who whose father died in a helicopter accident. Mother is just only an illiterate lady. So, the fourth one is somebody from China border, found by our Catholic father, who had no one. So we we are sponsoring Nancy's person in law. So every year we three or four, but very qualitatively we adopt them and they become our helping children. Next. We have artists and commerce scholarship also, those who are good in guitar, filmmaking, script writer. So this one is a very decadent area. They are very good in, you know, they are making, they are making the good people. They are so the president, Prime Minister, ONGC, the UN. So they are giving their academy. Next. This is one area I really love it. I donate blood every three months. Now also I was sitting, I got a call from our member of ex-minister for central government, Ninong Ering. He's MLA from Pasiga. He said, please, sir, one of his uh, border is now in Delhi, they need 5 million of blood. So I was coordinating with our boys rushing to donate the blood. So we have a blood bank at AIMS and in trauma center. And we donate, I urge that every youth, whoever visit to Delhi, from any of community from the North, I request them to donate the blood. Recent one was from my community, Apatani, I belong to Apatani tribe from Arunachal Pradesh. They all youth came to Delhi. They all donated the blood. But I'm very sad to tell you, Naga, nobody comes out. I, I'm really feeling very sad. But they were asked, uh, kun lage, kun lage. <laughs> so, so I request all of you, whenever you are in Delhi, please don't have blood. You know, your blood can save somebody's life. I know you are good in heart. Only you need to, you know, have a forum to do that. So this blood is a very, very what is called, uh, I would say, life saving for our people in cities. And this is not for those who will fly down by a uh, by, uh, business class, admitted at Apollo, you know, then having, uh, after too, too much of, you know, drinking, you are having liver cirrhosis, asking, sir, we need a blood, bloody go to hell, yeah? <laughs> we don't give to, to sir, such patient. We, 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 oh, this blood bank is only for those students, struggler, employees in practice.
प्राइवेट कंपनी है वो इज गुड नो वन उसी के लिए हम लोग किसी को नहीं चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए इवन गवर्नमेंट समेट नो नेक्स्ट दिस इज वन ऑफ दी रोड कैंसर स्क्रीनिंग कमिटी बिकॉज आवर इंडेवर इज दैट एडवांस कैंसर स्क्रीनिंग इज द ओनली आंसर फॉर स्पेशल फॉर द लेडीज द मेमोग्राफी इज दैट वी हैव टाई अप विद कैंसर society of india ah uh, by the way this blood bank when i started i struggled i went to aims i went to apollo i went to red cross society i went to medanta everyone was asking money to keep the blood for preservation we need around they need around 5 to 7 lakh every year are we are running we have no money to even send the delivery of the program from where do we get money i went four times met the health minister aims director they say okay, okay they were convinced also aims were the only one without any charging or any charge they are giving a uh, keeping up a blood bank red cross was asking three lakhs anyway i don't want to go into the details next health came now i'm here yesterday i had a career guidance for the naga youth of the tema Whenever we go, I encourage even Armstrong, me, then our ambassador Gumte, and I face Rina for a service. We have even to the lawyer. We tell them that whenever you go, go to your holiday in Mizoram or Nagaland or Arunachal Pradesh or Sikkim or in Nepal, don't stay idle. Mobilize the youth. Go to school. Go to the communities and the where there are a lot of youths are there. Give them a career guidance. Invite the people from Delhi. I will help you out. You know. And this is what we do. This is one of the picture of the you know, pre-med uh, healthcare. Right? Uh, for our mental, I use regular. I take a doctor from AIMS. We get a medicine. Last time, Colgate sponsored twenty-five thousand Colgate. You know, my wife is a uh, dental surgeon. We had a seven days marathon in healthcare. So, some for I know it's not going to make a hell of a difference, but at least so many are not going to make a huge difference. And we believe in making that difference. Next. Voter registration. We believe in a democracy without a political power. You are zero. So in Delhi, in NCR, we are notice are around nine to eleven lakhs population. We have pockets all over the Gurgaon, uh, Faridabad, you know, Ghaziabad, Delhi, even in Rota. I tell them register yourself because. तुम्हारे तुम यार नागा ऐसे तुम्हें तो कुने नहीं जाने तो देखा यू यू टेक रजिस्टर है ये ना मुनीर का रजिस्टर यार यू परिदाव वी हैव स्पेशल केब ऑफ वोटिंग रजिस्टर से उन इलेक्शन कमिशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड दे वर वेरी हैप्पी कि यस व्हाई ओनली दिस नागा से गो वेट तू नो तो तू Medical camp, whole body checkup. 
put sensitivity on spectrum. From X-ray to uh, what is called uh, the skin or this that, if you go and market, it will cost you fifty thousand rupees. The so six hundred and eleven, there was all this government service very really shallow. They they did try to come after. No, it's not for a government service. It's for those again the student, struggler, employed in the private sector. And we have kept a data bank of the 610 promising students and employers who have tried to go out, uh, go higher in future. Every day, 75, 75 people are given a thorough and take up. And we do it more. Menaka is giving me a concession. Even there, even now, we, we are talking under how in future can you do something for your human growth. Why everyone should rush to the day or what to the world? Next. This is one area. We believe our people need to understand, especially you people. I don't want to say in the ear. Do you know now the, the, in the cities they say the, the Nordic states or citizens are the gold mine for the cyber crime? They will. We have so many cases from Nagaland every now and then calling up. Sir, somebody has sent a gift. It's standard in the airport, fake policemen will call up, fake customer officer will call up, you will deposit the money, one. Second, all the solitary bachelor and spinster, they will, in the middle of the night, they will just go and start chatting with some handsome hunk or a beautiful girl, and in that heat of moment, they will start showing their, the, 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 which they should not show it, it is recorded, next day, sex stores will start. If you don't give money, I'm going to upload it. I'm having 27 cases from Nagaland, from Demarco 6. So this, we are creating awareness. Don't chat with person whom you do not know. Now the, you know, for a policeman, we have interphone or something in Delhi. Cyber crime has become more dangerous than the Real crime. Are you chappu mane bala to aap se do chhin aaja ya ek do lakhi le lega na? Ye saara crime bhaj karke somewhere in Patna or Bihar or UP or even in in the Noida they will siphon the lakhs of rupees. So this is what area we are trying to do that. Then another crime point which is need to know also uh, is that number uh, is that another is that thing. you start dating to your Facebook. I have so many uh, cases. My kids, my mother, Eric, and my mother coming down to you know Chennai and Delhi to meet his uh, elusive Facebook boyfriend. <laughs> no, don't laugh. Her husband called me up, sir, and I said, "Oh, we go." <laughs> so it's very funny, very unbelievable, but it's a fact. So I think this is what we are creating awareness. Then we have a so-called very high profile aerospace, hospitality sector, these, that. You will not believe we are. If you say you are playing with the turbulent time, last plane pass into the aerospace, you do not know what is the city life without any incubation center, which we are going to do it in, in, in the Nagaland now. They will go, they are selling five star hotel, get away, crash, it's not planned. Where do they go? Educate to alcohol, educate to drink. Every month I'm sending 20 to 30 young girls with a full blown HIV. I'm more worried that yaar, ye jaake Dimapur mein, Ajawal mein, Impal mein, Bitanar mein jaake kitno ko fail aega. Which many of us people do not like to hear it. They do not want to listen. They don't believe it. Until and unless it happens to you, to your sister, to your one of your relatives. And many will, we have great capital, obsession for foreigners, uh, you know, uh, Mota. <laughs> Akunak, you do not know, I'm giving an example. Beautiful Yaroshe from Nagaland. I want him. I ask him, sister, why? how come you follow him looking like such a seven foot of a little like a monkey? <laughs> anyway, I don't want to say it's good or bad. And to how did you follow him? Sir, we cried to tell the truth. He said, Sir, I never thought a man will love like this. On our birthday, suppose tomorrow is our birthday.
morning. At 12, got 12 midnight, he will be the first to call. Hi, honey, happy birthday. He will give him an iPhone, he will offer to, uh, you know, he will care if it's raining, he will start running in his forehead, great outside. I told you, I have no umbrella, so I brought an umbrella for you. <laughs> Girl, you said, oh my God, such a man, you yeah, will never meet. But he, he doesn't know that he, he is a Lucifer in the, in, 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 the, in the form of a lover. Father, please excuse me for saying this word. I go to church. I go to the church. All these foreigners, uh, not all, and take our, no, no, this girl hang on the hand. And this girl thinking, oh, what a God loving, the God fearing man. Then move to Belekasi, move to Anita Mahoma. I mean, my life is different. We have a 90% failure in this relationship. And we have started a marriage counseling in our helping hand in Delhi. We say to fall in love is the greatest God gift. If somebody loves you, through it from our heart. But I say I advise them to the woman uh, from his you know, where the recently with the uh, seminar with the Naga, uh, with the Manipur woman comes up also. If you fall in love, fine. We will help you to get married legally. Inform your parents, inform their parents, inform the embassy. We will give you the lawyer. We will give you the lawyer for the, all those registrations. No, they don't listen, most of them. And when something goes, everything goes wrong, they will come running to us. We get small girl, either he is a Naga, he looks like uh, some African country or something, the hybrid baby. <laughs> no, it's not don't laugh. I have many of them, and whenever holding it, with mamas and helping on the hand, I look at the child, I say, yeah. Naya Africa Raja, Naga Raja, Naya Africa Raja, Pakani Spekya Ola Jindaki. Mama is out of job, nothing, no qualification. Where does she go? She went into spa, huh? Then this spa is sure of going to the, the prostitution world. Don't record this my statement. Now they say, we are tiny, 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 tiny. Now come to the school training. It is for very good. We are important 100%. But once you, you, you still train, training for six months, seven months, you do not know whether who is giving you training has all the instructions or no. Unka pa, room hai kine, teacher hai kine, oh sara hai kine hai. No, I'm going to sign for relay, Shari. Where can you, once you are finished for six, seven months, this hiring party, this employment hiring party will land in, in Junokuto, or no, in Kohima, or in Itanagar, or in Nepal, with a very high five, leg tie, sit in the best room, with a good speaking English, with a very good browser, you know, we have this company, that company, and they will select only the fair skinned tall girls. I had a case recently in Lucknow. Six Arunachal girls were taken. They were kept in different locations in Lucknow cities. Four were taken off. They were asked to do what they were, but they were not supposed to do that. One of our Arunachal girls, she cut her. Risk. She was about to die. We asked, but they went to meet you here. But like, sir, I have two young brothers and sisters. I'm the only earning member. Here in Delhi, I have to do massage to my uh, director. I have to sleep with them. I have to go to Bangalore wearing a, such a dress which she doesn't want to even describe. We should go top and bottom have to serve the wine or drink. What to do, sir? I feel ashamed. I go to church. It's killing me, so I don't want to leave. Why I'm telling you that because these are the sitting at home at Dimapur or Ikanagar, you won't realize. You won't realize what is happening. But I do not know so many other God has chosen me or by default, whatever the reason I am. Every day and day out, I have so many cases. I do not know where we are heading. There is a complete collapse of moral of what is going to This is what I told you. This is what we do the cyber awareness campaign. And you, since you are here, I request again what I'm doing is say, you be the angels for your community, for your organization to spread this message. We will be conducting an awareness campaign. Now, you please join us. Next. And very well, lucky enough, 
we are helping as a member for a NHA, PMO, Rashtrad Bhavan, anything to be noticed, somewhere or other, we are invited. And I think somewhere or other, we are trying to project a positive image of our notice. It's not that if everybody is reaching the spa, I and mean, then we are producing Lavrena also, we are producing Meera Bhai Chan also, we are producing Mary Kom also. So we, this is what we do, and you will be the ambassador for that also. Next. Our legal assistance team. Yes. We follow up the case, we give how to write FIR to somebody has raped you or something has happened to you, how to, because your FIR cannot be changed, which many people they are not aware of that. Then to pursue the what are the investigation, where is the counseling, what are the damage, what is called a compensation, all of that we just inform them. Then we, every now and then we conduct legal awareness with those community leaders so that they further spread. Next. And we reach out to, to our community people. That's what in Delhi, I've experimented in every world we have our representative. Anyone having problems, we rush in and we help them out. And this is working very well. I have a lawyer WhatsApp group, I have a private uh, uh, employer WhatsApp group, I have a pastor and father WhatsApp group. So anything happens, please reach out to them. It helps very smoothly. So make best use of the social media in a positive way. Next, we hold annual thanksgiving to our people, whoever has stood for us. We like Mutu, Indigo Airline, Yonex, ONGC, they are helping us. And this is one of the functions where our minister, Rijiju and Maricom and all of that, they came and we had held that uh, thanksgiving. Next. And we are running a one library on experimental basis. As he said, I don't want to preach. God has given me everything, so I have donated my house, my ancestral house, in my village and home village, and my land officially to the helping hand. We are running the library. Library for information center, library and information center for any competitive exemption and for government skill available. Uh, how we can ever live. Next. This is the health clinic unit. She is my mama. She is my mother. So this health clinic is, we are, because it's very cold, so we are running on experimental basis. In future, we can expand it to other place also, where there is no medical facility. So here we are sending the, the, the two ministers and the sponsor Six Sigma, plus the Rajdani Express uh, is carrying a free of course because of Mahatma Gandhi's uh, health, um, library and health clinic. We are sending medicine every month from, the, uh, from Delhi. Next. This is our website and I got them training and volunteers. This we thought we'll give the idea because we have now, we have a, a format for becoming a volunteer. I'm sending to the, to the Andrew. So when you, before you give them I card and member, let them fill up if we have a good data bank, we can help us in future. Mm -hmm. Next. Health check out, of course, I've already told you next. Next. Then we have as a sports scholarship. First time of Sky in India. I went, I went to all the industry house. I think I, I think everybody says in Delhi, Robin Hill is the greatest beggar for the Northeast. <laughs> from hospital, from airline, from the scholarship, from this and that. So finally another begging has helped me out, I got dressed. Now industry is giving the sports scholarship for four years. All those promising sports person who are from the lower strata. Good in sports, but can't afford to have a good food. So four years are giving you a good balanced diet and money also. Next. And this is what we do, that's before here. We have also a lot of sacrifice. All Kata Hamne Sahada Bandia, Amara Ajabik Sangram, Hamne Bidi. We do make a sacrifice. So this is what we tell our Indian guys or our, our people from the name that they are Hamne Kurbane Kia, is Sarah, Jamin Kia, Amara Kun eh, is Ajabik Sangram, Hamne Kuridan Kia. You know, that kind of feeling. So we want to let them know we are equal partners in national progress. We do it made our sacrifice. Next. We, we are working with NC, with the UGC, with the HR industry, with the media. Why only you are showing only the men and heroes? I'm already hero here. Yeah. Next. Awareness and we have some of the awards, we got the Global Gandhi Award, Delhi Manufacturing Commission Award, 
you know, uh, the ambassador for a peace. So all this our way, every now and then. It's not for robbing you or and it's for the helping and endeavors. Even now that UNICEF is after us, they want to partnership with us. And I'm happy that Kandio has now started. But Arunachal and Nagaran will think of, they want to do project for the youth, children and the uh, children emergency fund. Next. This is the sports scholarship. Mahatma Dali, granddaughter, uh, also came. And we gave a gold medal. We have instituted a notice Samaritan gold medal. Pure gold. Better than, I don't want to say this word, uh, uh, we, uh, from the old angle, we, we design and we give it to our people who have done excellent contribution for our Nordic people. Next. Global map, this is in the House of Lord. They select those uh, 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 organizations who are doing a good job for the minority group, for the vulnerable people. So helping in has been given. I couldn't go. But they came down, the reputed for government, they gave, gave this award in my office. Next. These are our kind hearted CSR partner ALS, AIMS, Akas, you know, Sunrise, Yonex, AM, ONTC, Mudur Finance. They help us not in money but in kind. And they are, in fact, very happy I told them what we are doing. And they are willing to come to the planet also. Next. These are BKT as a local partner. Next. Just our journey goes on. These are our website. Next. Here you can press it, which is in our website with form and everything given here. Those who want to join us or part some of the hard earned money, not for the expenses, it's for the burial and remnants. So we are given them by. This one, you can straight in, connect them with your mobile and you can go ahead. Next. This is all what we do in, in helping hand, and I'm, I really feel proud that uh, uh, we are today in Nagaland, and Nagaland chapter is starting. Over to you. Thank you. Jai.